uh, this is Danger Canadian Content Productions. This is In Conversation. I'm the Moose, and today we're with Vivian Wilder. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Oh, our pleasure complete, completely. Awesome. Um, well, awesome was a good way of starting, actually, because I thought your set at the Horseshoe, I think that's last month, was yep. was exactly that, was awesome. Thank you. Um, and it's it's strange because... Well, it's not strange that you were awesome, they understand. <laughs> it's, it's strange because you were in New Band Night, I think. Was that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was like the Indie Night. It was yeah, Indie Night, yeah. Every, every Tuesday or Wednesday. I think or New Band Night might be a misnomer there. Yeah. I think you're right. Indie, yeah. in, indie Night is probably the best yeah, way of looking at it. I think there it. was a mixture of, of really new stuff and then just people were like, ah, let's just do a show. Let's go on a random lineup with, you know, we're a country band. But we're going to do a lineup with metal band and a punk band and a folk singer. And, it's great. and, and, it's and just throw it together. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it works. Yeah. It works. I've spent a lot of time in the horseshoe on Tuesday watching exactly that. At one point last year, I'll be honest, we walked in and someone who used to be in Coronation Street, oh, wow. but was also <laughs> a singer songwriter, wow. was the opening act. And we were like, hi, you might recognize me. I'm thinking, I don't know who the hell you are. <laughs> And we go, Papa, I'm from Coronation Street. Yes, yes, that's nice for you. <laughs> but it was really, really, it was a really, really good night. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that struck me about, and, and I've got your bio here as well, mm. um, was the variety of music in your, in your, mm. you know, the, the, or, or what comes across in, in your songs. Yeah. Is that a deliberate thing? I mean, you got, have you got influences in, in different places? Because your bio says punk and then jazz and probably everything else in between. So how, yeah. does, how does that work? Uh, I wouldn't say that it's deliberate. I, I definitely have a, a, a diverse background mm. in, in, in music. Um, and I've played bass in a bunch of different genres as a side person over the years before I started my own project, which is Vivian Wilder and the Vice Presidents. Um, so I think just because all that influence is in me already, it just, when I write the songs, they just are what they are. And then when we rehearse it with the band, we just try to make it work. And sometimes it doesn't and we drop the song or, and maybe I use it later. So one day it'll make sense, but yeah, it it, it, you can always recycle a song, can't yeah. you? I think, I think that's, that's, yeah, that's, or that's mash it. Two songs together and, you know, get something new out of it. Yeah, no, that's, no, I get that. And I'm right. You're from Saskatchewan originally. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, and that's got to, that's got to have a little bit of an influence in terms of where you, where you come sure. from, yeah. Yeah, like there's a lot more love for country music in the western provinces than I, I see around Ontario, I think. Like, if I, I don't know if that's a fair generalization, but there's a prairie thing about country music, so there's a little bit of that. I also spend a bunch of time in Texas in the early days of my songwriting, so right. there's definitely a little bit of that as well. Okay, so whereabouts in Texas then? Austin. In Austin, yeah. yeah. Yeah, great town. I was, I was, I was, yeah. it's, a, it's one of the places we just haven't gotten to yet, and oh, we want. Yeah. I want South by Southwest in my future. Yeah, but I don't know when. I don't know when that when that's yeah, going to happen. I think the sooner you can go, the better, because it's, it's growing. Like the city's blowing up. Well, I, 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 we had something similar when yeah. the, we were in the Glaston. I went, first, my first Glastonbury was. Well, I won't even say the year. Let's just say there were only fifteen thousand people there. Yeah. Now there's one hundred and fifty thousand yeah. people there. It's a different. It's a different yeah. experience, yeah, you know. Absolutely. But you got to be prep prep for both of those. Yeah. Interesting though that, you, as I say, that 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 that, that all those influences then 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 play it play yeah. with you, and also it's um, but that's important as to say it's not just you then, because obviously the people around you as well either have to make that work for you, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. In the great in the great scheme of things. Yeah. Well, in, in talking of uh, and talking in terms of, I'll go back to, on back to gigs just briefly, and with the gigs, I mean, obviously, I think. You, you're playing a couple of gigs at the Transac, aren't you? And yeah, you, so what have you got coming up? Yeah, I have the, I've played the Transac every third Friday of the month. Right, okay. Um, and that's that's usually with my full band, but it's kind of the nature of that space is, is so wonderful and kind of lim living roomy yeah. that you can really strip things down and have guests. And, you know, it's also an opportunity to work workshop music sometimes, you know, sort of as a dress rehearsal before you go on a bigger stage. Um, and then I also we usually do a show at a bigger venue at least once a month. So on March seventh, that's at the Linsmore here okay. in Houston. Yep. Um, but you know we did the Horseshoe last month. Uh, we did um, the Painted Lady earlier this month. Like all, we've done the Dakota, the, the Cameron House. All, all the I, I, I've, I've got to be honest. I, I have a Bermuda Triangle, which is Painted Lady, Dakota Tavern. <laughs> And the garrison, oh. and in the middle of that Bermuda Triangle yeah. is Get Well, 
yeah. and yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't get much better than that no, for me really good. you know you want to be anywhere that's a great that's a great little place <laughs> yeah. to be you know and yeah. you can get lost in the middle of it i think that's also yeah, almost kind of guaranteed what happened. <laughs> <laughs> or, or yeah or just look at all the messages the next morning and go yeah. oh that's where i was right yeah. that's what i did yeah. Um, in terms of bigger bigger venues than that, a, a, a bigger getting out getting outside mm -hmm. Toronto, are you looking at that at all in yeah. terms of getting away? Yeah, that's kind of the big project now is getting this band on the road because we've been kind of like sequestered in Toronto, I would say, for which has been great because we yep. really developed a sound that we didn't have when I first started this band. It's really become a band instead of me just making people play my right. songs. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we would love to get out of Canada. Canada's, I love Canada, but I would love Well, getting to out of Ontario is a massive yeah. challenge in its own right, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, you it's know? a vast country and everything is so far apart. And, and I've done some touring previously in the States and in Europe with different projects. And it's just a different game. There's just so many more people. There's so many more venues, so many more towns that have a love of music. So, yeah, so yeah. Well, I was just asking, yeah. have you done the via, tra via rail train thing? No, yeah. I have a bunch of friends who have. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm fascinated by yeah. it because, one, because I want to be on the train. Yeah. I'll be mean, selfishly, I can't play, so, <laughs> you know, I, I, I can only be on the train. Yeah. But then actually to, to be able to hear that and, 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 and make friends and, you know, and, and et cetera, and increase your audience is, is yeah. just a really interesting way of doing it. Yeah, it's like I've never gotten to go across the country, like, I've been across the country from coast to coast, yeah, yeah. but in separate little chunks, right. in a car mostly, or by plane. So doing kind of the coast to coast on one long oh, thing, is, that. that's like yeah. kind of an ultimate Canadiana uh, experience. It, it's, it's, the, it, yeah. it's the best, I think it's the best. Yeah. It, we, we did an East Coast tour just, just for a few days a few years ago and um it's sort of breaking my heart that we're not back there already so right. it's a yeah. it's 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 really it's a really good thing yeah it's a really good thing okay so i'm just going to run into the um releases let's talk about releases because you're talking about like touring your original album if am i right i think it was uh, just vivian wilder and now yeah. it's waking up the dinosaurs yeah, yeah? so that's where you, this is where your your new your new music and that yeah. needs that to be perfectly honest that needs touring doesn't it that's the other yeah. thing yeah that's that's was that was the plan. That's kind of in the process now. Excellent. But also, you know, I mean, every artist says this: is you get stir crazy with your own music, and so you you move. We want to move on to the next things as fast as you can. So I already have another thing recorded. I have an EP. Really? That'll probably come out. Well, it will come out later this year. Probably Fantastic. Twenty nineteen. Um, that, that's going to be called Post Romantic. And it's right. just it's a set of six songs that are about doomed love and that but it was a completely different process from from waking up the dinosaurs which was like very much me taking the vice presidents into the studio yeah. and capturing exactly mm -hmm. what we did on stage by playing ah, those songs right yeah, and, yeah. Uh, this set of songs is a bit different because i've written them with the band in mind but we're kind of piecing them together and adding new elements so that we can evolve the sound a little bit and it's that morphing isn't it it's that yeah. morphing of all, all those different elements that, yeah. that really they really make it yeah uh, so it's really still very work. much connected to the last thing but it's it's a, a move forward for me so as, we can look forward to group. another release from you later on yeah. this year well wow, yeah. that's that's excellent that yeah. is that's that's really good and then and that then begs the question again then you've got to get out and tour it and then yeah, sell exactly. it and do all those things that you yeah. need to need to do with it yeah. fantastic yeah. fantastic right i'm going to move into the um Possibly overrated, called Speed Round of Doom. <laughs> <in Right. the laughs> yeah. well, this is what I'm here for. No, oh, no. It's what, I'll be honest, it's what lots of people. So you have to pick one of four letters. Within those four letters are a series of questions. So you can either have A, B, C, or D because you are first this, this evening. So um, that will generate whichever set of questions you get, okay. which are random. Okay. And I will tell you that at the moment. <laughs> if you feel you can't answer them, please say pass. If you think they're inappropriate or you can't, <laughs> do that then pass is also good uh, but a b c or d i'll go with a a excellent right these are random superpowers they're not really superpowers but um <laughs> you'll see what i mean so you if which of the following superpowers would you choose you have to choose from fart transference which is the ability to remove your bodily gases to somebody else <laughs> Eat cake and not weight, have no weight gain whatsoever. So you need as much cake as you want and you never gain a pound. Or hibernate. Oh, God. 
Mm, that's a really tough call between the first and the third one because as a passive aggressive person, <laughs> one sounds wonderful. <laughs> and right now, being in the thick of February, hibernation sounds really wonderful. Okay. If I could somehow combine the two, that would be amazing. Oh, oh, that's a great call. Oh, I love that. Hibernate, and then when you wake up, yeah. all the gases that you've built up during the go winter to could go to somebody else. Really oh, yeah. 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 So badass would actually be a really, really good. <laughs> at this point oh no i love that right okay the second set we've done so second question harry potter or lord voldemort oh i'm gonna go with Vol lord voldemort because he's just a way more fascinating character not that i think you should win no but just like character wise harry potter's kind of lame he just has all this stuff handed to him <laughs> and he's being worshipped as this great guy and he didn't really earn it no and voldemort is like legit a genius so voldemort's and done the hard yards yeah and deserves and to be you know in, yeah. he's, you could even say he's a bit of an anti-hero yeah on, yeah know. yeah i mean there he's is a reason there is a reason why slytherin have got a lot of followers i like the slytherin slytherin yeah. is, is a like, whole thing the parcel tongue amazing. thing is just every everyone gets it have you been to curiosa at all no, no? curious is over on um queen and dunder a uh, queen oh. and dufferin yeah right uh, near the rhino and near the cadillac lounge okay i think yeah? i walked by it yeah, yeah. it's go in okay. yeah yeah if you're going to walk past go in right. yeah have the full-on harry potter experience okay. for you seriously <laughs> they would they would uh, they're going to kill me for saying that but it's 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 a really good experience okay next one is maple syrup as we're coming up for tapping season overpriced or overrated neither Oh, you see, That's oh, the <laughs> neither, and that is the answer. Yeah. That's the answer. And the last one in this series, <laughs> you'll be delighted to hear: cottage or oh, cottage and canoe or a fast car. Cottage and canoe. Cottage and canoe. Yeah. Yeah. I live in Toronto. I gotta get out of town hardcore sometimes, and and fast cars. You can't. You're not even allowed to drive a fast car fast. So. I don't know. Right, so Unless I come. You go to Germany, or, you know. I go to the. I come from the UK. Yeah. It, you know what? Sort of 70, 80 miles an hour is yeah. just normal. Yeah. Um, 70, yeah. 80 kilometers is like take the handbrake off and go slightly faster. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's where it comes from. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. That is superb. Thank you very <laughs> much indeed. I want to say a pleasure. First of all, um, thank you very much indeed, Vivian. Yeah. So all of your details will be up in the credits. We want awesome. to we want to thank uh, Factory Girl and George for putting up with us for one more time, one more go around. Yeah. I want to thank Yestin for filming this evening. And until next one, time, thank you very much two, indeed. Goodbye.